Hi everyone, welcome to another exciting video of SpaceX updates. To begin the video, we have some really exciting news related to the Starship Test Flight 2. The Starship Flight Readiness Testing Campaign will soon begin at the Starbase launch site in Texas. Starship S-25, the next Starship to fly, is about to begin its launch readiness testing campaign. The straps that held S-25 on the test stand have now been removed. After approximately eight weeks of no testing activities at the launch site, the road closure schedule is back up on the Cameron County website, with possible closures on June 12, with backup dates on the 13th and 14th. I am definitely looking forward to some cryogenic testing on S-25, followed by static fire tests some days or weeks later. Nonetheless, it will be great to see Starship activities resumed at Starbase. Remember, Elon Musk has set a launch timeline around July for Starship test flight number two. Do you think that is a feasible timeline? Let me know in the comments. SpaceX has just broken two records previously held by the Space Shuttle spacecraft. The successful docking of the CRS-28 mission to the space station on Monday marked the Dragon Fleet's 38th trip to the orbiting lab, surpassing the U.S. record set by the Space Shuttle for the most visits to the station by a spacecraft type. Additionally, on June 6, the Dragon 2 fleet's time in space, with a total of 1324 days, surpassed the Space Shuttle fleet's time in space. In a major positive step toward the first maiden flight of the Vulcan rocket, United Launch Alliance successfully completed a booster engine flight readiness firing or a static fire test in Florida. This is a significant progress as United Launch Alliance prepares for the first flight of the Vulcan Centaur rocket, although already behind schedule. Any new launch timeline will be subject to the data review of the booster firing test and the final Centaur 5 testing, which is under investigation following a test stand anomaly. To end the video, here is an update on the Artemis II mission. NASA says the European Service Module of the Artemis II mission is making fast progress, with teams performing final checkouts on it. Once the checks are complete, it will be integrated with the crew module of the first crewed mission of the Artemis program, which is scheduled for launch next year in 2024. That wraps up this short video of major space news. Thanks for watching, and I will be back with more updates in the next video. Signing out for now.